What's up guys, Next Tech here, and in this video I'm going to show you some of my favorite Twitter apps and how they differ from the official Twitter app and if it's worth getting. Now here are the ones I'm going to use. You can see the official Falcon Pro which is paid and Carbon which has recently been released. Now I know what you're thinking, there are loads of other ones like TweetDeck and TweetCaster and there's, they are, they're good, but these are my favorite. So if you've already got a favorite, don't bother, you know, check these out, you might like them more, who knows. First thing I'm going to do is show you quickly the official one and what I don't like about it and what I do like about it. So it's very simple, it's very smooth. You can see there's no lags checking through the, uh, the the tweets here. You can see how they're represented. You can see this person I follow here has put a YouTube video in and it doesn't show the image in the actual feed. You have to click into it and then you'll see the uh, link. And if you click play, by the way, it will actually direct you to either a browser or an app, which I don't, I do not like. So that's kind of annoying. Other than that, you know, the Twitter app, isn't very extravagant whoops i exited it not very extravagant you know you've got your tabs up here there's no transitions it just goes between them and that's about as much as i want to talk about the official twitter app because we've seen it loads of times now what i want to now talk to you about is carbon carbon is free i'll put it all the links in the description to these guys and i already prefer this i think this is amazing looking you can see that same tweet from the person i follow the YouTube box comes up here. It's already looking better and I like the theme. If I click in, you see you get a nice transition from the right. You've got all your stuff here like reply, quote, retweet, favorite, and your menu button. Unfortunately, if you click, you still get directed to go to a different app or a web browser, which is annoying as hell in my opinion. Um, you can also, yeah, I was just going to do that, actually. But check out these transitions here. If I go from left to right, look how cool these transitions are, guys. It's super smooth as well. I really enjoy the transitions here. And if I pull down to refresh, you can see you get a kind of Star Wars-y effect if you go down to refresh. And if I refresh, I don't at the moment, but if I did have new tweets when I refreshed, a big number would appear of how many new tweets I had. And it's kind of cool. So if I click into one here, you can see how it looks. Again, a nice transition from the right, you get your conversation down here, which by the way, if you click, watch, note what happens to the tweet at the top. It kind of turns sideways and dims down so you can look at the conversation properly. If I show you that transition again, the transitions in this app are amazing. I think they're some of the best I've seen used on Android anywhere in any app. So that's something if you want to go back, you can just swipe back to your feed. Over here on the feed, you know, you've got the nice stuff, you've got the nice looking themes, you've got your, your messages here that are directed to you and you've got your direct messages here as well that people can't see. If you click at the bottom here, you can have multiple accounts on here so you could choose between the accounts and switch between them. This is my account, you can see the tweets, friends, followers and listed. And I need to press back to get out of that, there is no transition. And like I said, you can have multiple accounts but I don't so I'm not gonna bother showing you that. And that's Carbon guys. So. It's much better already than the official Twitter app, in my opinion. It's uh, a bit fresher, a bit smoother, cooler transitions, but there's still the problem with the links not working the way I'd want them to. So let's move on to my favorite, which is Falcon Pro. Falcon Pro is awesome, guys. You can see here, it's a nice layout. I like the theme. I like the kind of gray stuff. It's very smooth. Maybe a little, you can see it was a little bit of lag there, but. I'll deal with it because you get a lot more features here. If you are pulled down, you've got your pull down to refresh and you'll get loading. No tweets, no uh, personal messages and no private messages over here. You can compose a tweet over here and you get a nice little box. Uh, you can press the uh, little left arrow menu button here and you've got your kind of uh, menu from what you want to do in the app. Your following, followers, timeline mentions, all that good stuff. You do obviously get notifications in pretty much all of these apps. But the big thing I love about Falcon Pro is this. I'll show you, I've been showing you this uh, YouTube video for all of my videos and I'll show you it now. So you can see the tweet here. If I click this play button, look at that. It will actually play the videos. How cool is that? You don't have to be directed into another app, which I think is fantastic. I don't want to open another app, I want to all do it here. And this app allows you to do that. You can also do settings and full screen mode here. And it's a that's a big deal for me. I think that is the reason I use Falcon Pro the most. Um, it also does it with loads of other links. I can't really show you them here, but a lot of other links that won't work in other um, Twitter apps will work in Falcon Pro and will show you the image directly in the feed. 
So yeah, guys, Falcon Pro is awesome. I'm sure there are other apps that do the in-feed stuff, but these are definitely my favorite. And yeah, it's Twitter. So ditch the official and go with either Falcon Pro or Carbon for transitions. Carbon is the best for transitions. Falcon Pro is probably the best functionally, but yeah, there we go, guys. That's Twitter for Android and all its different forms, and there are loads more. So yeah, see you guys there.